Okay, this one should be an interest. Well, it's a boring one actually. Well, let's see if we can make this one look good. I wonder how big we're going to make it. Going to hit it at 200%. Uh, what are we going to do with this one? And hear two different kinds of high pitch squeak. Can you hear that, guys? Not a good sound for a fucking new machine. Sorry, but Conicum and Old have failed us. Their failure is the company Conicum and Alta. They're fucking assholes that just care only about money. So therefore, I give them an F minus. Fucking bitches. I'll show Conig and Minolta that they're bloody assholes. <sighs> Hope they see me on YouTube and see just how angry I am at them for being assholes. I don't care what they fucking think. I don't care if they threaten to sue me. They can try, but they won't get me, the bitches. I know, know the internet more than those cunts. Those bloody shits. I think maybe 200's a bit big for this, so... We're going at 141, but Konica and Minolta are shitheads. They don't know how to do anything right, it seems. They're honestly stupid idiots who just care only about fucking money. Honestly. I wish I could kick them up the ass. Especially the CEO. I mean, there's so many different types of squeaks that I'm hearing in this fucking machine. At least three or four? Three, maybe four different types of squeaks? That's just not acceptable. Anyway, that looks shit ass. Uh, it's interesting what we've done, but it, it, it doesn't look all that good. We didn't get, it's not a very good original. I, could, I didn't even see much color except in there. I don't know why I chose this one. Uh, I'll just try that again. We'll just try and, we'll do it upside down this time and see what happens. So let's see if we can make it look really nice. Okay. I don't think I've even reached my maximum duty cycle on this fucking machine so this machine there's no excuses for all that squeakiness and sounds in there it's not fair it's not right anyway that looks interesting uh wondering if we're going to turn it into a mirror image so we're going to just wondering what to do because the colors aren't all that great we don't see much color break up in the image like we normally would I'll just throw that aside we normally see more color but I think we can probably maybe enlarge it half cut it in half so we're just going to enlarge it going to make two enlargements so we're going to have to probably select original size just to be on the safe side so we're just going to we're on the right setting uh, funnily enough now we're just going to find the original size setting number of originals it's just here and we just got to go here and we're just going to go and we're going to make it we're just going to make it A4 I think that should be alright so let's see how we go and we might have to Ah, make some more adjustments here so the copy density is too light we're just going to put it in the middle and we're just going to go and we're going to slip that into copied paper and let's see how we let's see how this one looks so hoping with enlargement we'll be able to see more colors this isn't the most colorful original or the most exciting original I've had so I'm just going to put this first one aside and we're just going to make it hopefully a four-way mirror image with this so let's see how it looks now that looks a little bit better it's not the greatest but I'm wondering which corner we're going to use to 
make the mirror image. So I'm wondering if it's going to be down there where the hand is, the hand holding the magnifying glass. It's a tough choice trying to work out and it's starting to curl. This curling is a real pain in the ass. And the squeaking is a pain in the ass. So even though I love photocopiers, I still have have enough room to whinge about them, so to speak. I, I can still whinge about them. However much I like using them, they're a pain in the ass. And this is not this is a pain in the ass. We've got this border, so we're not using it that way. We're going to use the smaller border. And we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. So we're going to make our mirror image this way. I don't like the border on there, that big heavy border. I can't be bothered tweaking it. We're just going to run with it. This is not the greatest demo on earth, I must say, incidentally. I'm not happy with the colours and the shapes that much, this one. I don't know why I did this. I have got another demo piece, incidentally, in my bag which will be a really good one so I just I forgot all about it so I'm gonna at some stage pull it out and use it but color wise this looks shit it's not as good as what it should be uh, I thought that maybe I don't know it's just I don't know why I picked up that original I could have used another one even though I'm I find it hard to get enough originals to make 15 demos in a session so Basically, I'm wondering if maybe these are our mirror images, incidentally. So we're just going to try and put our mirror images into the corners and maybe it'll look nice. We do have some nice colours if you look closely at it. You've got some nice wavy colours. So maybe it's not too bad. It's interesting. Maybe some people will like it more than I do. And the curling's not terminal. So let's see if we can get a closer look at the middle. That would have been a nice area to crop, but you can see the colours in that, and yeah, so I think we can call that quits.